So I was just sat in the afternoon one time because my shift was going to start at work soon, thinking about possible video ideas because I've started to run out. And I thought, you know what would make this game really unfun? Beating the entire game of Tower of Grey. And that's what I did. Well, attempted to, anyway, because I haven't actually recorded the entire series as of now because I've been extremely busy with work. But I want to get an up uh, video uh, to you guys every day, so this is how it is. Uh, the part one will be relatively short compared to everything else, but since now I'm going to have some backlog of footage, uh, the next one's probably going to be longer. I don't know how many parts this is going to be. So, started off fairly regularly. Um, nothing's going to change as of now. The only actual advantage of getting Tower of Grey is that your character's skill tree is probably going to be like maxed or close to it, because Tower of Grey doesn't require any skill points. Uh, the rules of this series is that we're going to be going every da uh, dungeon that we have to go in is in Nightmare, so no, like, babying it out of easy. Uh, and we're not allowed to use any specs. Tower of Grey is the only thing we're allowed to use. Now, as you probably saw, our first stand was the Fool, which is not what we want, but luckily, with our first, well, with our second arrow, we have new stand arrows to get a better chance of getting Tower of Grey. Got Tower of Grey, and not only Tower of Grey, uh, we got Strong, which will be very helpful in the series because it has a damage multiplier, and Tower of Grey needs all the damage it can get. So, as we are here now, we're powering through the main story, so first is Chaka Hideout on Nightmare, obviously as I stated before in the rules. Uh, not too bad, the damage the NPCs at this stage isn't like obnoxiously long, however the damage they do to us is still like quite significant because Tower Grey has no base stand defense to my knowledge. Um, and also, luckily the Tower Grey skill tree is only one thing, but the side effect of that is it has no extra moves other than left clicks and block. Uh, block is literally just your character's block, so there's no additional advantage there. It is not. It's, it's, again, I mean, I wouldn't make this video if this challenge wasn't hard. Uh, I'm just wondering mainly if it's actually uh, possible more than anything. So here we are being the bandit thugs. I accidentally killed one more than I was supposed to. Um, I'm going to say for this challenge that there's no going to be no excessive grinding unless it's literally impossible to beat the boss without it, uh, with, like, in terms of health or block durability, because I'm not sure if some bosses will be impossible, we'll see. So basically, I'm just going to be doing main quests, uh, and I'll only grind until a specific level is required, because there is like a, a certain gate until the final um, main quest line. So here we are, going to the bandit hideout. Uh, this is pretty scary, this is the first like true challenge in the game for the stand, because there's just so many NPCs, they do so much damage, um, and also the final boss is quite fearsome as well. So obviously with platforming, easy, it's never really that difficult, uh, having a different stand doesn't really change this unless I guess you get a star plant in the middle of the world and you have time skip I guess. So here we are beating all the bandit spies and we get unfortunately our first death because that guy did 20 damage in one hit, so yeah. Cut out the rest of this but the second run through was actually successful, uh, I finally managed to find like a zigzag pattern that managed to pretty much stop him, the damage here wasn't that bad. Uh, so yeah, that will conclude our first part. We managed to beat um, a good chunk of the first bit of the story. Uh, so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next episode of this series. Thank you. Like, uh, like and subscribe. See ya.